So the scandal in the Vatican has erupted yesterday evening after a half-naked dancer, Roberto Bolle, openly gay, you know, was given an opportunity to dance up in front of St. Peter's, beside where the Pope says Mass. Um, you know, it was boycotted by practically every religious uh, movement in Rome once they knew what was going on. I mean, if you just have to see the event, you know, the majority of the seats are empty. Now, to anybody say you're a homophobe, you're a bigot, Robert, you're this, you're that and the other. Remember, this is the Vatican that has banned private masses inside the Vatican. This is under Cardinal Roach, has banned celebrating private masses. You can celebrate one type of thing in front of the Vatican, but inside St. Peter's, you're not allowed to celebrate private masses. This is about fairness. It's about the faith. I mean, if, if Roberto Bolle can dance in front of the Vatican, why can't priests celebrate masses around St. Peter's? And I think it's dawning on many reasonable Catholics that there's something very sick and damaging going on in the Vatican. For a long time, they've covered it up. Now they just, you know, I think we're, the way things were going, we're one to two years away from the pride flag being flown around St. Peter's. That's where we're heading. You know, that's not creating division in the church. That's asking questions. What is going on? It's not about tradition, Latin mass or the Novus Ordo. If a priest out of devotion wants to go to Rome and celebrate mass on many of the private altars in the morning, in his own language, maybe, with maybe pilgrims that he has brought to Rome, what is so wrong with that? What is so wrong? What is going on in the Vatican? We can help hold up, you know. <sighs> It's not being anti this or being you know, what people will obviously accuse us of treating, you not know, being able to treat people with dignity and respect. But it's about the sacred in the church. We're able to do one thing, but we're not able to do another thing. And the confusion and the damage being caused in the Vatican is, is very, very sad. It's. It's very, very sad. And I've, I've tried not to comment on it. But um, we've all seen yesterday the document that was issued after this event in the Vatican. You know, we, we I mean, this guy, Roberto Bolli, he'll come out in all the media and he'll get reported on. And we put kids up there. We look at, we, you know, we hold this guy up as some, what? And, and in the church, we're not able to have leadership. And again, it's not anti-anything, but it's asking what is the faith? What is going on in Rome, in the Vatican? Mauro Gambetti, what is going on? And I think that, I think it's just come to a situation now that unless bishops step up and ask the questions, where are we leading the faithful? No wonder we have the problems we have in the church. Um, and I don't think they're hiding it anymore. I honestly don't think they're, they, they, I, I wonder do, does Rome even care anymore? We just give in to the world. Let's follow the world. We turn Vatican City into, into a badly performed talent show. Um, and, uh, which, the majority of religious groups in Rome boycott it silently. I mean, they were not voicing what's going on, but they wouldn't appear. And behind closed doors, the chat is starting. What is going on in Rome? You know, and it's not being extreme here <laughs> to ask the questions. It really is to, be, is to ask well, what is going wrong we can have Roberto Bolle dance, dance half naked in front of St. Peter's beside where popes have said mass canonizations. We allow that in the name of human fraternity. 
But in the name of human fraternity, we don't allow priests celebrate a private mass inside the Vatican to help their devotion, as many have done when they go on pilgrimage to Rome to go in and say private mass. We crack down on the traditional at mass and we allow this. And do you know, does the Vatican not see why some Catholics are annoyed, saddened? Do they not understand what they're doing? Do they think we're blind and we're just going to shut up and we're just going to say nothing? Do, do they? You know, they'll push this new theology of the mass. They'll push a statement on human fraternity that doesn't mention Christ. What is the mission of the church? What are we there for? What are you doing in, in Rome? What is your mission? The supreme law of the church is salvation of souls. Why, why are we not out there preaching the gospel and saving souls? God bless you. Take care. Bye bye.